Hi guys, uh, how are you doing? Hope you're great. All right, uh, good to have you back today again. And um, today is Wednesday, so we have language and science. And we're going to begin with language. On Monday, I introduced a new topic, which is um, location words. And I said that location words shows you where someone or something is. And I'm very happy about the, the sentences you guys tried uh, making on your own. You really did a good job, so bravo. But um, actually, there's something I noticed which I'm not really happy about. Because most of you guys were using I, the pronoun I, 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 in making sentences. And you remember that I always tell you in class that I don't want to make use of pronouns, the pronoun I especially, to make sentences. So please try making your sentences more often with nouns. It's gonna make, uh, it's gonna help you a lot uh, to make versatile sentences instead of always focusing your sentences on I, I, my mom, my dad. I, I really don't um, appreciate it, and you guys know. So don't think because you're at home, Mrs. Uche is not gonna get you. I still, I'm still watching you guys, and I'm not happy with you making use of I and my mom. If you use the same, if you use the pronoun I more than one time in the exam. Uh, I'm not going to mark it correct. So take note of that. Make more often of, make use of um, nouns more often. And uh, yeah, try to make your sentence versatile. Don't just focus on yourself, I, my. All right. But apart from that, you guys did an amazing job with your sentences and I'm very happy with you guys. So today we're going to continue with uh, using location words. So get your big book turned to page 204, 206, sorry page 206 in the big book and we write the date today is uh, may wednesday 6 2020 i hope i got it correct uh may wednesday 6 2020 so turn to page 206 and we're going to continue with the exercise um in the book so it's I, I it's kind of a review topic for us because we've already did this in math as i said before so we're just going to go through it one more time and um get the exercises done so let's read if you're already on page 206 it says location words and what is a location word if you're asked to define a location word a location word shows where someone or something is it is telling us or showing us the position of someone or something all right and we have uh six location words listed here you have in on behind beside over and under and on monday i showed you the different positions of in on is on top behind it's at your back beside is by your side it could be by your left or your right hand side over is over you on there on there and uh, yeah that's it so we have an example there the park is beside the shopping mall so it's telling you that the park is beside the shopping mall it could be by the right hand side or by the left hand side but it's just beside the shopping mall when you have something here and another one here it is beside it is next to it so it is beside it all right so that's it now the exercise is filling the blanks to tell where the animals are uh, i'm sorry i'm not going to do any example for you so just look at the, the the animal look at the sentence dash the rug so is the dog where is what word would you use to fill in here on under over whatever so figure it out and do so the same thing goes to you get to number five and when you're done with that you go to the next page page 207 all right and we continue with the exercise it's just we're going to draw pictures depending on the description given to us above here so the first dot says draw a sun over the house so where is the house the house is here the house is here so it says draw a sun over the house so over is on top so your sun should be drawn here the next uh clue says draw a a fountain beside the house so beside the house I told you that beside could be on the left or right. So you draw a fountain beside the house, anywhere you want, any position. Okay, it says draw six apples on the tree. We have the tree here, and you're asked to draw six apples on it. Draw a bike under the tree. So this is the tree, and then under the tree should be somewhere here. Draw a cat walking on the path. This is the pathway leading to the house. So this is the pathway you can draw a cat anywhere around here and it says draw a girl behind the cat so when you draw the cat somewhere here you draw the girl behind this so yeah that's it for today uh, in language so when you're done with your work take a picture of it and send send it to me if you still need me to explain more to you 
Just let me know and I will do that. All right? Have a wonderful day. Ciao.